Hello, hello everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like the videos. At the end of each video is a link to either the playlist, the whole playlist, or another video, or both. Um, anyway, I just wanted to do this real quickly and show you a little trick. Um, now, unfortunately, it's not working for me now. I don't know if it's because I'm 175 hours into the game. I've all, I beat the quest way before I beat the main quest. I've beaten Blood and Wine. I've beaten Blood, Hearts of Stone. You know, everything. So I wonder, and of course I did, the, there's a side quest in Lindenville. I'll just shut up. There's a side quest in Lindenville, in Velen. So at the, near the beginning of the game, where you need to go up and you actually face a Night Wraith. Or is it a Noon Wraith? Uh, I think it's a Night Wraith. Um, so first off, just to know, so you know where we are, Crow's Perch, the Baron, are there. Go east, that's Lindenville. Then just go slightly northeast of the of where the fast <clears throat> fast point is. Then you, we're gonna go here. All right, we're gonna walk in. Now, if you're doing the mission, you're gonna be fighting ghouls here. Um, you can see my playthrough of it, but I didn't notice. I didn't notice until after. And I had a glitch happen. I haven't been able to repeat the glitch, but I know that this is an actual bootleg that's supposed to be, or it's an actual thing that's supposed to be here. I'm trying one last thing. I'm going to turn off all the lights in here, just to, just to try. No, extinguish. Light off. Light off. Extinguish. No. Let's turn off all these lights. All these lights need to be off. So we're in the cemetery. Now in this one, this is the one where the fake witcher side quest. So if you're playing that and you're, you're basically hunting down the fake side, the, the fake uh, witcher. In reality, you end up saving him because he's a scrub. After all, he is a fake witcher. Um, and I'm igniting as many as I'm extinguishing. Okay, this is getting boring. I know that. Okay, so you turn around, you get in here, you'll get um, you'll get some treasure, which I've already gotten a long time ago. You'll get this. You come around out here, and didn't happen again. Okay, these two angels, these two beautiful angels. Okay, they are actually the weeping angels from Doctor Who. Um, when you go in. And you come out that first time, they will be right there waiting for you. Now, they don't kill you. They don't harm you. It's just an homage, an Easter egg. Just kind of like the Tyrion Lannister one where he falls out of the sky cell, perfectly modeled. Uh, that I showed you in one of the first, I think, gameplay number three, maybe two, um, video. Uh, He's perfectly, you know it's Tyrion Lannister, and it's literally the exact same Sky Cell in, in all appearances. So, um, another little Easter egg. Well, these two, after the quest, so be mindful, um, and I wasn't recording at the time, walk out, and they'll be you know, right about here and right about here facing you. Because you know if you turn your back on the weeping angels from Doctor Who, they turn into these gargoyle creatures that if you even blink at them, they are instantly on you or at least closer. And if they touch you, you just basically disappear and, and die. Unless you're Amy and Rory. And I don't know how many Doctor Who people are out there, but that, that one always threw me off because everyone else dies, but they get thrown back. But I do n understand it in a very convoluted way. Anyway, this is what I wanted to show you. You just go in here. Obviously, I can't. I wish I could replicate it for you. I thought I could. Um, I thought by maybe if I extinguish, I'll just test your patience a little bit longer and extinguish the rest of the lights. Maybe they're they maybe CD you know CDPR they they you know they they might have just said hey we're gonna make sure they make it really spooky before we let that happen. Okay, and no. They're still regular angels, but they do turn into weeping angels. Let's see if we give them a few whacks. Okay, nope. All right. 
So now you know where, you know when. If you're doing your first playthrough, I know a lot of people are coming new to the game. And I also know there's a lot more videos and with people who are doing it fresh and showing you the uh, actual things. So I'm, not, I'm fully aware of that. But I just thought it would be improper to not have this video on here. It's, so, it's such a cool Easter egg. So again, once you come here during the quest, you'll be fighting ghouls. Then you'll take on the... the, the I don't think it's a, a noon wraith. Let me let me look this up real quickly for you. Okay, it's not a wraith. I know I know that for a fact. Uh, going faster. There's so many creatures I've killed. Okay, so many. Okay, so many. It's a yeah necrophages. Let's see. There we go. What are we looking for here? It's a hat. Ha I think it was one of the hags. It's a grave hag. Duh. Gra duh. Grave hag. By the way, those that's how you beat her. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. So when you're playing this, if you're if you haven't played that yet, go ahead, play it, come in here, and all I'm saying is do the mission. Go in here. The first time you come here, you'll just after you beat the ghouls, you'll come in and you'll check this out and you'll disturb you'll be disturbing her little skulls and all that right here she has skulls um that gets her to come after you but before that right then when you walk out boom the two angels i'm trying to make it happen again will be out here in full grotesque attack gargoyle position and they are identical to the doctor who one so i just wanted to point that out and once again on the map it is let's see quickly quickly though please thank you just northeast of Lindenville. That's as much as I can zoom. You see the little circle there. It's really easy to see. And that you can also use the bridge. So you've over here, east of Crow's Perch, southeast of the bridge, and right just northeast of Lindenville. All right, so I think I'm gonna go back to Lindenville and just beat up on that uh, beat. Uh, beat the uh, blacksmith at Gwent some more. That's mainly what I've been doing. Padding out, the, just finding everything I can find. <sighs> I'm sorry I could not repeat that for you, but in a way that's good because it's, it's spoiler free and it's, in a way you, I'm making you wear the Easter egg, but you don't actually see it. So maybe that's a little better than the people who are putting, literally putting them on the, on the, the actual uh, thumbnail and showing you and that kind of kind of kills it a little bit anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon evening or night thank you so much for watching if you can please hit the like button comment down below subscribe if you're new i really appreciate it, it helps keep me going on these things and uh, as you know i'm not monetized i'm just doing it for love of gaming for love of of uh, the figures I review and pretty soon I will be doing those again and I'm going to be reviewing the Witcher books and I'm going to be going back to my Alita stuff, Alita Battle Angel as well or Gundam. Alright, thank you so much.